You've probably noticed that power sport vehicles are quite costly. That's not to say you shouldn't get one, it only indicates you might be curious about the price and why they're so high. The truth is that there are a variety of pricey power sport vehicles available. Motorcycles in general are more expensive than vehicles, which we'll discuss today. On the top of the list is, of course, the Kawasaki Ninja H2R with a top speed of 249 miles per hour. Many folks claim that the Kawasaki Ninja H2R is just too much. It's too fast, too savage, too striking, too daring, and yes, too pricey at $55,000. This motorcycle may be one of the few that even the most ardent bike enthusiasts would hesitate to ride. The 2020 Kawasaki Ninja H2R is the most powerful motorcycle the company has ever produced. In fact, it could be the most powerful sports bike in the 2020 model year from all manufacturers combined. Because of its ability to generate up to 310 crank horsepower and 115 pound-feet of crank torque, the H2R is probably the first of a motorcycle category known as hyper sport bikes. All of those figures come from its supercharged 998cc inline 4 engine, which is housed in a motorbike that weighs only 476 pounds wet. At 250 miles per hour, the H2R still remains the unofficial top speed record for a factory stock motorbike. The record was set in Turkey a few years ago with a 2016 variant of the same motorcycle. Next is another Kawasaki Ninja variant, the Kawasaki Ninja H2, with a top speed of 227 miles per hour. With a comical exhaust and the traditional green and black color scheme, the Kawasaki Ninja H2 appeared like something from outer space when it was initially released in 2015. It appeared to be something the Predator would use. The most recent form looks nearly identical, however, the appearance has evolved to become more recognizable to our sight. The H2 is powered by a supercharged 998cc inline 4 engine that produces 228 horsepower and 98.5 pound-feet of crank torque at 10,500 RPM, albeit most of it is generated in the mid-range. If you're still not impressed, the H2 belongs to the Ninja Superbike Series' supercharged Super Sport class. There's even a special badge on the engine that simply states supercharged. The cost begins at $32,500. Joining the list is the Lightning LS218 with its top speed of 218 miles per hour. The Lightning LS218, unlike the other motorcycles on this list, does not run on fossil fuel. The manufacturer opted to put some electric cells within what seems to be a standard petrol tank on almost every other motorcycle. It also does not produce emission because it does not consume fossil fuels. If you think a strong bike is one that produces a lot of noise, the LS218 will disappoint you. At first impression, the motorcycle has a gigantic tank, massive fairings, large disc brakes, oversized swing arms, broad tires, and a single seat, just like most other superbikes. The only significant distinction is that there is no exhaust, whether muffled nor racing to be detected. The engine is a 150 kilowatt IPM liquid-cooled engine that produces 200 horsepower and a tremendous 168 pound-feet of torque from a near standstill posture. With high-speed gearing and ferry, the Lightning LS218 can easily go 218 miles per hour with no need for professional throttle tuning, flat patches, or undesirable leaps in power delivery. Owning the fourth spot is the Honda CBR 1000 RRR Fireblade SP, with a top speed of 211 miles per hour. The Honda CBR 1000 RRR Fireblade SP is the company's flagship superbike and it, like any other 1000cc motorbike, is heavily influenced by its MotoGP sibling. The Fireblade SP is a limited edition model available only in the United States that is practically a carbon copy of Honda's RS213 V Superbike, which has earned the company numerous MotoGP pole positions. A tried and true inline four-cylinder engine with 214 horsepower to the real wheels is at its heart. The 214 horsepower paired with a chassis, weight distribution, and suspension configuration that were all flawlessly adjusted resulted in a superb yet vintage Honda track machine. Honda has gone to great lengths to make the outside as vibrant as the interior. The HRC tricolors are featured on the livery and the titanium exhaust not only emphasizes the superbike's athletic DNA, but also helps to reduce weight. Generally speaking, the CBR 1000 RRR Fireblade SP is a formidable Japanese opponent for the V4R, which had previously held a monopoly in the road legal track oriented superbike section. We're almost halfway there, and here it is the Kawasaki Ninja ZX14R is ranked fifth with a top speed of 208 miles per hour. The Ninja ZX14R is the top of the line model in the ZX series right now. 
The bike's 1,441cc inline four engine produces 208 horsepower and 113 pound feet of torque. It has a powerful engine that rivals the H2R or the Suzuki Hayabusa. As a result, Kawasaki developed a unique monocoque design in which the bike's entire frame functions as a combined support system. The ZX14R is a top of the line model with ABS, multiple power modes, normal and high performance, traction control, Brembo brake calipers with a slipper clutch to improve both power and traction, and dual intake valves. The throttle response becomes milder in regular power mode and overall power is likewise limited. However, you can always return to the full throttle ride. The starting price is $14,999. Number 6 on the list is the Ducati Panigale V4R with a top speed of 204 miles per hour. The Ducati V4R represents the pinnacle of performance from a street-legal Ducati superbike. The R in the name refers to the racing version and the top-of-the-line V4 does everything it can to live up to its name. It not only has superior performance, but it also has a slew of electronics designed to push the limits of speed while maintaining the highest level of safety. The V4R's engine can produce up to 234 horsepower when combined with an Acropovic exhaust, which is unprecedented for a street-legal motorbike. These figures become even more fascinating when you consider the V4R's dry weight of only 165 kilos, giving it an excellent power-to-weight ratio. The V4R's reputation as the king of superbikes is further enhanced by a sophisticated kit of aerodynamics and electronics. Ducati's flagship superbike is capable of reaching 204 miles per hour, just like a piece of cake. Ranked seventh is the BMW S1000RR with a top speed of 200 miles per hour. It's pretty easy to see why the 2020 BMW S1000RR is regarded as a truly hardcore superbike built to push motorcycle engineering to its limits by many riders and motorcycle aficionados. While it may not be the fastest bike with a top speed of 200 miles per hour, the BMW logos on the fairings provide the rider with a new sense of confidence. You're sitting on a piece of German engineering created by one of the country's largest automobile manufacturers. The S1000RR is equipped with a 999cc liquid-cooled inline-4 engine that produces 205 horsepower and 83 pound-feet of torque and is designed for experienced riders. BMW's shift cam technology is also used to adjust the lift and opening of the intake valve based on speed. This means the engine will always ensure you get the finest sense of power delivery possible. In the real world, this technology means that you and your RR will get outstanding performance every single second of the trip despite the riding conditions. We're going down the 8th fastest motorbike which is the Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory. 199 miles per hour is its highest speed. Aprilia has enhanced the RSV4 factory version in nearly every way, putting it on par with all of its competitors. The reworked bodywork, along with new seamless winglets and a bigger windscreen, results in significant aerodynamic enhancements that make a major difference on track runs. The power figures reach a maximum of 217 horsepower at 13,000 RPM, allowing the Italian two-wheeler to reach a top speed of 199 miles per hour thanks to the 1,078cc V4 engine. The RSV4 unexpectedly does not disappoint in terms of pollution for a motorcycle with so much power. Aprilia has managed to fine-tune it to Euro 5 emissions while keeping its characteristic exhaust tone and power delivery intact. The Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory version employs all of the high-tech features available. The all-in semi-active suspension system is a significant new innovation that allows the rider to change modes at the simple tap of a button. Suzuki Hayabusa Number 9 194 miles per hour top speed In 1999, the Suzuki Hayabusa successfully challenged the Super Blackbird for the title of fastest production motorcycle. It was and still is a noteworthy achievement as the bike became nearly synonymous with the term quote-unquote fastest bike for many years afterward. Even those who are uninterested in motorcycles are aware of the Hayabusa and are informed that it is a fast motorcycle. Suzuki refers to it as the ultimate superbike. The Hayabusa is equipped with a 1,340cc four-cylinder DOHC engine, sophisticated EFI with 10-hole fuel injectors and dual RAM air intakes for the 2020 model year. The bike handles tight turns quite well and is an excellent touring machine. Since you won't need all that power in most situations, Suzuki has included a drive mode selection that allows you to tailor the power delivery to a more manageable driving situation. Finally, the last but absolutely not the least, the Yamaha YZF-R1M with a top speed of 191 miles per hour. 
Yamaha's R1M has also succumbed to the market trend of track focus 1000cc superbikes and it has gotten a warm welcome from aficionados all over the world. The R1M power plant has recently been upgraded, but it still uses Yamaha's proprietary cross-plane technology, which, when combined with ride-by-wire controls, produces an instant surge of power. A huge array of technology also monitors the external conditions and assists the rider in adjusting the dynamics as needed. Yamaha has also included a lightning-fast quick shifter, all-ins electronically adjustable dampers, and many riding modes to make the overall riding experience smooth. The riding modes allow you to swap between the R1M's various moods and are highly efficient in managing the beast's gut-wrenching power delivery on the road. The R1M and its rider can pass through gusts of air with ease because it's so powerful yet extremely aerodynamic bodywork. And there you have it, you've just witnessed how powerful and astounding the performance of each bike is, not to mention their opulent prices. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like.